The easiest way to describe the abyss would be to say that this is an outer space adventure that takes place not in outer space, but at the bottom of the ocean where giant oil rigs are used in order to try to rescue a sunken American submarine. Among the people leading the rescue, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio as the boss of the oil rig and engineer Ed Harris as her estranged husband. Right at the beginning of the movie, they begin to suspect they are not alone down there in the deep. That happens when Master Antonio goes outside the rig and sees a strange alien creature. A lot of underwater adventures are too murky to appreciate, but the special effects in this one are really first rate. One of the neatest tricks in the movie is when Ed Harris has to dive further down into the deeps of the abyss, and they're going to try to keep him alive by having him breathe a special mixture of liquid oxygen. What? Oh, that's not normal. It'll pass in a second. It's perfectly normal. This is normal. perfectly normal. Oh, it's perfectly normal. We all breathe liquid for nine months, bud. Your body will remember. And down, down, down he goes into the deep. This movie is really a superior adventure film. But I'm, I'm there in the dark. You're not alone. I liked The Abyss, and one of the reasons I liked it was the way it combined the special effects of these oil rigs and other submersibles with the notion that another life form, maybe even from outer space, could be living there at the bottom of the ocean. It's a good movie on the action level and on the human level. I give it three and a half stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.